Hey campers, Dr. White here with a quick video on how to solve Boyle's Law problems. Remember, Boyle's Law is the one that states that for a given mass of a gas at a constant temperature, the volume of the gas varies inversely with pressure. Let's look at what this uh, looks like graphically. If pressure is inversely proportional to volume, then as we increase the volume, the pressure should decrease. And that is indeed what we see here. Let's look at this point and this point. Find the coordinates and multiply them together. For this one, 6 times 50 is 300. And for this one, 2 times 150 is 300. The product of the two coordinates are the same. And if you look at the other points, you will see that the product of the coordinates will equal 300 as well. What this means is that pressure and volume for an initial set of conditions will be the same value for a second set of conditions. P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. Let's use this equation to solve a gas problem. The first step to solving gas problems is correctly assigning variables. Let's assign the variables for this particular problem. The first number that we come to is 2.50L. Since L stands for liters, and liters is a unit of volume, let's assign this a value of V1. The second number that we come to is 105 kPa. Since kPa is a unit of pressure, we can assign this number P1. These are the initial set of conditions for our nitrous oxide. The third number is pressure as well. It is the new pressure. Let's assign this, prop, this number P2. The problem is asking us to find V2. Let's write down our equation and isolate V2 by dividing both sides by P2. Once we have V2 isolated, we just have to plug in the numbers to our equation and it will spit out the answer. Watch how I do this. Let's try one more. I recommend pausing the video at this point and trying this problem on your own. Afterwards, you can unpause it and see how I, sol how I solve the problem. The first number we come to is 4.00 liters. Since liters is a unit of volume, let's assign this a value of V1. The second number that we come to is 205 kilopascals. Since kilopascals is a unit of pressure, we can assign this number P1, or pressure 1. The third number is a volume. It is the new volume. Let's assign this number V2, where V stands for volume. The problem is asking us to find P2. Let's write down our equation and isolate P2 by dividing both sides by V2.
Once we have P2 isolated, we just have to plug in the numbers to our equation and it will spit out the correct answer. Watch how I do this. Well, that is Boyle's Law. Remember to assign all variables first and then plug them into the equation. Isolate the variable that you would like to solve for and then just put everything into that equation. This is Dr. White signing out. Thanks a lot.